I'm going to show you how you can get the reports for donations app. The 360 donations app has a reporting feature built into it by pressing this button here and then press report. This is one way to get the reports. The other way is from the dashboard. So make sure when you create your campaign names, it's user friendly. That way you can look it up. You can, all, you can call it campaign one, campaign two, campaign three. You can call it school supplies campaign, or you can call it homeless fund campaign. But depending on what name you give it, you can look it up on the dashboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard. Okay. So here is the Clover dashboard. Again, this is the back end of Clover.com. You have to access this from a computer, a laptop, and you once you log in, you'll see your dashboard. Make sure to choose the correct location. So if you have, if you are taking donations from multiple locations, then choose the right location. Okay. So let's suppose I am taking donations from VCC. I choose this location. And then I go ahead and go to the, da the reporting dashboard, okay? So I'm going to show you step-by-step step on how to see how much donations you got, okay? Because the 360 Donations app communicates with your Clover reporting, okay? So uh, you want to make sure you know how to use this. So it's very important that you take the time to learn this uh, because everything that's sent through your Clover Donations, so your 360 Donations app, is sent to your Clover dashboard. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go under orders here. See orders right here? Orders tells you the orders you got for the day, for the week, for the month, okay? So when you first turn it on, you may not see any orders. So don't be alarmed. That just means for today, you do not see any donations. You may have got donations yesterday. So make sure to change the date. So let's say do yesterday, okay? And when I press yesterday, you can see I got some donations here, right? I got some orders here, okay? So keep in mind that you want to use your Clover device only for donations, not for restaurant orders, not for retail orders, and then donations too, because you want to keep it only for one single purpose. That's what it's designed for. So uh, if you mix it up, it's going to be harder for you to track your donations. So as you can see earlier, I showed you the video of my Clover device, and I had campaigns in there, and I called them different names, right? Okay. So if you want to keep the tracking of how much you collected in donations, give it a campaign name or give it a name that you can easily recognize, okay? So you can say homeless fund, do homeless fund campaign, uh, feeding the hungry campaign. In my scenario, I just did campaign one, campaign two, campaign three. The reason why I did it this way is for you to see how you can find how much was donated for that campaign. So as you can see, campaign one, donation of $2 was given. Campaign two, $1 of donation was uh, given, okay? So now that I have this information, now the next question is, okay, how do I know how much donations was collected at the end of the month, right? So that's a very good question. So again, you have to learn the dashboard very well. And Clover always update updates their dashboard. So you wanna keep relearning because by the time you watch this video, these settings may look different to you, okay? So you have to um, try all these different areas to see how your reporting is shown on your Clover dashboard, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go to reporting, okay? And then when I go to reporting, I'm able to see additional data, additional information, right? It says net sales, right? Since I'm only doing donations, I can see I got a total of $6 in donations, which I just did some test orders or test donations so you guys can see how it looks like, okay? So you can do this day and last week, you can do uh, this day last year, and you can filter it by that, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you can actually find how much each campaign got donations for. So again, you go to orders right here, orders, and then what you do now is you go to uh, line items, okay? Keep in mind that when a donation is given, it creates a custom line item on your um, Clover reporting or on your line item so you can find out. So as you can see, I'm going to type in uh, search items by name or ID. So I'm going to type in campaign, right? Campaign, because that's what I give it. So if you call it the homeless fund or whatever name you give it, you search it by that name. I'm going to search for campaign and I'm going to do yesterday or last seven days. Let's do last seven days. Okay. So I got a donation of $1 for campaign three. I got a donation of $1 for campaign two. I got a donation of $2 for campaign one, and then another dollar for that campaign. 
And if I click on details, okay, if I click on details, you can see when the donation was given, how it all came about, right? And you can see all the additional data. You can see the receipt here. You can see the order ID. So all this information is given to you by campaign one. Keep in mind that the 360 donations allows customers to remain anonymous, okay? If they rename anonymous, you will not know who donated, right? Some people wish to donate by not giving you their information. So you may just see a donation for $5 by somebody as anonymous, okay? And in the 360 donations app, you have a setting there on how to control uh, who can remain anonymous, who cannot. Either it's all or nothing. So you can give that setting to your customers. Okay, now that we know um, uh, how the reports are coming across, let's suppose you have uh, seven different campaigns and one campaign is called the homeless campaign, right? Since I don't have one here, I may not have any uh, reporting to show you because I haven't got any donations for that campaign. So if I don't have any donations for that campaign, it will not show it, right? It will not show it here. So you can't find that number. So if you're trying to figure out by the end of the year, how much donations was given to us to a, uh, to your homeless campaign and you don't find it that means nobody donated towards it okay so uh you you will only see who uh, if, it, if a donation had occurred right so keep that in mind as you look through your reporting feature okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at the other uh, angle now you want to click on right here under uh reporting okay once you click on reporting you'll see a lot of options here okay I'm going to just show you how to get the total, the total, okay? So you're going to go to item sales. And remember, Clover has a lot of filters. So if you don't see any numbers here, that means your filters are not set up correctly, all right? So you want to choose all employees. You want to choose, um, you know, uh, all order types, everything, okay? So we can see here that we got a total of $7 in donations from all the campaigns combined in the last 30 days, right? Of course, yours will show something significantly uh, higher or different um, but this is how you can tell how much you got so let's suppose you want to track how much donations you got for a certain campaign you can see it here from this reporting you'll have it all itemized all you simply do is you add them up so campaign one campaign one so it's total of three dollars right the reason being is because the way donations work is creates a custom item for each donation that comes through uh, so you can just quickly add it up and keep in mind, you could also export this information uh, to to the um, uh, to Excel. So there's an Excel uh, indication here is right here, Excel, right here, export. And then you can go in there in your Excel and, and categorize them how you want them. OK, so this is how the reporting is shown. But you are also more than welcome to check other buttons here and check out if you find something that's more to your needs, because we integrate with the Clover reporting. And the reporting is what shows how much things came through, right? And again, uh, if your customers decides to leave their information for you to donate to and you want to send them a, um, a um, tax deduction bill into the year, then you have to go to the customers app, right? You know the customers app is right here. That's only if they left their name. If they do not leave their name and they remain anonymous, you will not know who they are. Then you cannot send them a tax, um, you know, for tax write-off information, okay? So if they leave their name, you can see it. But um, so let's take, let's see if we can actually, uh, let me just show you what the customer's app looks like. Customer's app, you will have all your customers here, all of them here, right? So you can click on them and you can see how much of them, if they use their name, you can see who donated and how much. And then you'll have to go in your Excel or whatever programming software you use or any document you use to write them your uh, tax write-off end of the year, okay? So again, so you want to rely on customers app, you want to rely on the orders app, and you want to rely on the reporting app. But again, keep in mind that at the time of this video, which is in May 2022, you may see this video next in 2025, 2023, these settings may look different to you, but keep in mind they're still very similar. You just have to find the right setting or the right um, tab, and you'll see that data. So uh, take your time, learn the reporting feature, and this way you can track the donations that are coming to you from your customers from the Clover kiosk app. And again, as you saw in the beginning of the video, you can also do a reporting from the Clover device itself. But if you wish to do it from the dashboard, this is where you can find that information. All right, I hope this video proved helpful. Thank you again for your time. And thank you for using 360 Donations app 
to help uh, grow the community, to benefit nonprofits. And uh, we really appreciate that you guys took the time to use the app. Uh, thank you and have a great day.